pinball people. Welcome to Pinball Repair 101. In this video, I thought you guys might like to follow along while I put together a basic test bench for the classic Bally and Stern pinball machines. Now, we can see I have a big pile of stuff here. I have a wiring harness. This wiring harness happens to be from a Medusa pinball machine. I've got the big old transformer, the later model rectifier board, which is nice. I've got a solenoid driver slash voltage regulator board and I also have a lamp driver so you can see these boards are kind of poorly mounted to this uh, piece of wood and I was actually using this as a crude test rig for a couple years but actually we can see obviously we're missing our MPU I'll put an MPU right there so I was using this as a crude test rig but I think I'd just like to put it together a little neater. I had intended to put some switches. I was going to switch the uh, high voltage. I, I'll still do that. I might switch some of the other voltages. I'm, I haven't really decided yet. What I'm not going to do is incorporate sound, a soundboard or the displays into this actual uh, main piece. I'm just going to leave the harness, which I'll have neatly velcroed to the rest of the harness, and then when I need to test displays, I can just pull that harness out. I think I'll probably eventually build in connectors for all of the soundboards. I'm also eventually going to rebuild all of the connectors. Um, I'll rebuild and bulletproof the boards. So I'll basically have a nice working test bench with good working boards and good connectors where I can actually test boards. I can develop new hardware. Just whatever I generally need, feel like I need to do with this system, which for me these days has been a lot. I'll rebuild this rectifier board. We can see it's going to be mounted just to a piece of wood, so there's no heat sinks for the bridges. So what I'll do is I'll replace these bridges with bridges that which will stick out this way and have a, a heat sink on the bridge itself. I'll have to decide how I'm going to switch the high voltage, if I'm actually going to switch it coming off the transformer or if I'll switch it after the voltage regulator. I'm kind of thinking I'll switch it at the transformer right before the bridge. Depending on what I do with this and what I develop on it, I might end up adding multiple switches or different ways to switch power in and out of the circuit. I think the first thing I'll do is just kind of take all of this stuff off here and decide on my placement for the boards and then I will mount the harness back onto the main piece of wood mount up the boards and then from there I think I'll probably mount and wire the switches and then start testing it. It's not really going to be a super difficult project but it should be kind of fun and then once that's done I'll start digging into these boards. The first thing I'm going to do is, is rebuild this. Obviously this situation needs to be resolved first. And then from there I think I'll probably just do some work with the test bench, test some boards. There's a couple projects that I want to start working on. And then in the future I'll start rebuilding the connectors and just cleaning it up as necessary. So let's just take this thing apart and mock up how the new version is going to look. I think I'll just stick with this piece of wood. This actually I think came out of an arcade game. It's one of those ones where it would, the control panel would open and then this whole uh, piece would slide out. And it's got this handle piece here. So it's convenient for what I need. It's approximately the right size. So I think I'll just stick with this. I was planning to move to a larger piece like a two foot by four foot piece of plywood and then incorporate the sound boards and the displays right into the test bench but the more I thought about it I don't think I really need to do that I'm not going to be working on displays or sound boards a lot and when I do I can just pull out the harness as necessary and with the sound boards I usually end up just bench testing them on their own anyway this wiring harness, as I mentioned, is from a Medusa pinball machine, which had to be parted out due to some pretty severe water damage, and you can still see some of that evident here on this power switch bracket. So the harness itself was fine. If I remember what I did was I actually ran this wiring harness through the dishwasher once I pulled it out of the machine. So it's fairly clean. Uh, I'll replace this 
I think I'll probably just use one of these style switches for that. Okay, so I've got everything removed. I've got the wiring harness here, basically just in one big chunk. So that's good. Um, I think I'll just test place the boards, place the switches, stuff where I want it, and then I'll sort of test fit the harness in here just to make sure everything is going to fit. And then I'll just screw it all down. After that, I'll wire in the switches, I'll wire in a power plug and stuff like that. Now I'm midway through the build. I've got the harness basically connected down, the boards are all in place. The harness ended up being a little bit bulkier than what I was expecting, so this is the display harness here. The rest of the harness is going to have to just kind of fold up into this area over here. I've also left a little bit of space here. I was thinking I'd just put in some cheap multimeters from eBay. You can get the dedicated, really cheap little meters for the the, volt, the regulated voltages, the plus five and the, the display voltage. That'll make things easier where I can just drop in the solenoid driver and voltage regulator board and see the voltages right offhand. For the lamp driver board, I've got LED boards, which I'm gonna install. Uh, for the solenoids, at some point I'll wire in some LEDs to each of the solenoid outputs. And for the MPU, there's various boards which I have, which I'll which will work with that. I've got the uh, memory expander board for J5. I've got boards to test the switches. I have also designed a board to show when the MPU is driving the solenoids. Effectively, a little mini solenoid driver board which will mount there. I also have a display board which will mount on here. Okay, I've got this Bally Stern test bench pretty much ready to go. I've got the Medusa harness mounted down to the board. I've got all the circuit boards mounted. I've got a transformer and a rectifier board. I've installed a switch, switched the whole thing on and off. I'm gonna add another switch for the high voltage, but I think I'll do that later. In the meantime, I can use this to start testing boards and developing new boards, but I also want to use this test bench to shoot some videos some how it works videos about how the different circuit boards work and how this whole thing adds up to be a pinball machine. So that's the basic Bally test bench. A pretty short video of basically just slamming a wiring harness and a bunch of boards onto a big piece of wood. But I thought you guys might find it interesting and what this will allow me to do more easily in the future is make some videos about how these boards work, how this whole system works. This will also let me more easily test some new stuff that I have in mind for this pinball system and I also have several complete machines which I need to restore which use this system so this will just make things a lot easier. Now I have the test bench to the point where I think I'm gonna leave it and just start working with it and, and slowly improve as I go. I've got the harness mounted down to the board. I have the boards all installed the transformer and the rectifier board are installed. I have a switch for the mains. Later on I'll add another switch for the high voltage. But in the meantime, this thing basically is somewhat neatly put together and now I can start working with it. I hope you guys liked the video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel for similar videos in the future. I'm sure we'll be seeing this test bench in future videos. So. We'll see how this thing evolves over time. I'll see you in the next video.